Welcome to this balanced short practice with me. My name is Nika, and this is a nice reset either at night, first thing in your day, or anytime in the middle of the day when you need that little pick me up. So let us find ourselves on a mat. You can have props, you can choose not to have props, whatever you like. Honestly, it's your zone in your flow. So just be with you and your body, most importantly. And let's come sit down on our sits bones. <sighs> Let out some long vibrational exhales and allow your eyes to slip closed just for a little bit. We're going to focus inward and draw ourselves into our breath with each inhale. Feel your spine growing taller, your sitting bones anchoring you down into the ground, just like roots going down into the earth. You are a tree rooted and growing tall through the crown of your head towards the ceiling or the sky. And as you exhale, open your mouth and let it fall away. <sighs> Go ahead like that for three more times. You draw the breath in, observe it happening as your eyes are closed and your mind's eye is witnessing the experience within you. Allow yourself to let that breath go in a long sigh. Maybe you go shh, any kind of long vibrational exhale. <sighs> it doesn't have to be too calculated. Two more on your own. Really take the time to be expansive and fill your side, back, ribs, fully all the way up to the base of your collarbone. And allow that breath to just leave you, release it out long, <sighs> relaxing your face, unhinging your jaw, and take one more opportunity to do just that as we settle into the space. Cool breath in, feel the temperature shift, <sighs> the release sound, the breath out. And then sealing your lips, focusing the breath just in and out of the nose, noticing which legs in front you might want to exchange that. Shake it out, shake it out, and then cross the opposite leg in front this time. Continue to sit up tall, bringing those shoulders up, back and down, exhale. Inhale, bring the shoulders up, forward, up and back. Exhale as they ride back. So you're plugging your shoulder blades down the socket a few times. Feel free to add in the elbows, drawing some circles with your elbows through space, then unfurling those forearms back releasing from the elbows, wrists, and fingers, opening the chest. You can keep your eyes closed or blink them open. Inhale, full arm extension, up, back, and around, maybe contracting like you have a beach ball between your belly button and your fingertips. Inhale, sit up tall, big open chest, maybe coming into a high arch or release just to expand, and then exhale again, contracting. You can really hollow out your navel to spine, and then again, sit up on top of your sits bones as you inhale, open your chest. Last time, just like that. This time, clasping your hands. Notice which thumbs crossed on top. Inhale all the way up to a nice long seat. Flex those palms upward to the ceiling and start to draw small circles directly overhead. Melting your shoulders down away from the ears, elongating the sides of your neck. Inhale long, exhale stay, and gently reverse those circles. Very small circles, just hovering overhead. And if you want, you can add that micro bend in your elbows. One more breath in, full breath out, release, shake, 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 release your hands, allow them all to go, maybe release your voice. Ah, good, allow your arms to just fall down and we're gonna reverse the action as you inhale, bring the scapula together, pin them together in your mid back. Inhale, up, forward and down. So inhale, open wide across the chest as the corner tips of the scapula come together, riding the shoulders up, forward and down on the exhale. So inhale, exhale. Two more. Lubricating the synovial fluid of the shoulder joint. It's really important here, opening up the joint space and now adding in the circles with your elbows, unfurling the forearms, inhaling, exhaling. We're going in reverse from back to front, going in both directions since we have ball and socket joints in our shoulders, for instance, also in our hips. <sighs> Yeah, feel free to let the breath out. Now we're gonna extend the arms back up and overhead. Inhale, 
wide reach through the fingertips, and then exhale again, hollow out, navel to spine, belly button opposite those fingers. Inhale, sit up tall, reach the arms back up and forward. Again, exhale as you round the spine. So you can allow yourself to come behind those sits bones as you contract suddenly, and then inhale, rise tall upon them again. So inhaling and exhaling. Maybe you choose to open the throat, gaze upward on the in-breath, and then exhale up and over. Again, clasping your hands with the opposite thumb crossed on top. Inhale, reach, flex that palm upward to the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. And again, start reversing the circle. So the non-traditional habitual way that you do. Reverse those circles for a full breath in, a full breath out. Get taller on your next inhale. And as you release those hands, circle them on the way down this time in one direction. And at the halfway point, reverse. Circle the opposite way, just opening up the wrists a little bit more. Yeah, that feels good. Lean back, shake those legs out. And we're gonna come into a fire log or a square pose. So you're just gonna stack one leg on top of the other. So bending one knee, you have my right leg on the bottom, flexing your top foot. So for me, it's my left. If you have a big gap here, don't worry, that's okay. It, everybody is different, everybody is different. So you maybe you can just put like a cushion, blanket, anything to bring your legs closer together, if that works. Unless you don't mind the weight of gravity and just allow that top leg to fall as you soften the hips. Again, we wanna get off of those sits bones, we wanna get onto them, let's hop on, and let's move the flesh out of the way so that we can really find a strong anchor. Inhale, sweep your arms forward, up and out. Exhale, stay. Inhale, grow taller through the crown of the head, hinging forward on the diagonal. Exhale, stay and hover here. Keep your hips nice and heavy. Inhale, grow taller, reaching the crown of the head out and away, keeping the back of the neck long. And then finally, maybe surrendering down. You're welcome to keep your forearms down. Maybe come to a block or stack your fists so you can rest your forehead down here. And I'm keeping that top left foot flexed, ankle below the knee joint, walking it out forward and just holding here. You might feel some sensation in the back of your left hip, the outer glutes here as we open up the left hip. You can also tent your fingers up to have a little bit more activation in those hands, keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. Keep breathing in, long and deep into the back body, into the outer hips, keeping those hips planted, maybe finding a little more length, elongating the spine again, coming to a flat back, inhale, finding some rib cage action up and over, those shins perhaps, and then again, settling down for two more long deep breath cycles. Maybe finding a bit more passive here as you surrender the head, feel the weight of gravity as your skull melts down. It's okay if it doesn't touch the ground, and if it does, that's all right too. Let's take one more full deep breath in, full release out. On your next in breath, coming back to those fingertips, finger pads, elongating and lengthening the spine to flat back. Walk it on over to the right side, so opposite that top left foot. Inhale on the long diagonal. Exhale, melting down over your leg. So you're towards the right knee and the left foot. Your left hip is staying nice and heavy and your hands are walked to the upper right diagonal. So you might feel that stretch throughout your left rib cage, side body, outer hip. Stay and breathe into it. The hips can carry a lot of emotion, a lot of tension, and that is natural and normal, and we often sit a lot in our lives, so tension will accumulate there. It's important that we do this release work to open up and find more space so we can find more facility, freedom, and less pain in our body. Breathing in, releasing out. <sighs> if you need to let go of some sound, please, be my guest, do it, this is for you. Last full breath on this side right here. Long and deep, really give yourself the full gift of your entirety of your breath. Full inhale, full exhale. 
and continue to walk those hands over to your right side. Maybe right hand plants down, maybe right forearm. As you reach your left arm overhead, left hip remains heavy. Pressing into the bottom arm, maybe spiraling the chest open. As you come up through seated, pressing up through seated, left hand comes down, right arm follows up and overhead. You're finding this curve on the second side. Again, either you're sliding your left arm out, releasing the forearm, or just the palm down. Keeping the right hip heavy. Inhale to start carving forward on the front left diagonal. Continue to circle all the way around, right arm followed by left arm. One more time in this direction. Feel the float through the center. Feel the stretch of the side body in those intercostal muscles, circling forward, releasing the head along with the action. Inhaling and exhaling. And let's reverse that all. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and over. Glide the right hand over to the side, carving it forward and around. Following that left arm with the right. One more big revolution around. Use your breath. Inhale to find more space and length. And exhale to surrender. Ride it. Ride the current. Ride the motion. This time when you come upward, take a moment to ground your finger pads. Sit up a little taller. Inhale. Exhale. Let your breath out with an open mouth. Allow that top leg to slip off of the bottom. So we had our right beneath us, left on top. Planting your hands behind you. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Inhale. Show you from the side. And then allow yourself to press your hips up. Maybe you bring your hands to fists. If that feels better for you, some people might prefer fists. Or you can bring your finger pads down, your hands, palms down, if that feels available to you. I like to tent up my fingers and find a little more elevation as I stretch the front of the hip flexors. You can choose to release the head back if that feels comfortable or simply tucking the chin towards the chest, look forward or keep it in line with the spine. One more breath in, exhale, releasing the pelvis down, moving slowly and methodically. Let's give it a moment. Let's shake out those legs and we'll do the second side. This really works wonders. I'm already like, whoa, I feel a lot more open on my left hip, but you might not notice it so immediately. Maybe you will. And it's okay if one side's tighter than the other. It's totally natural and it happens. It's normal. So left leg beneath this time, right on top. Flexing that uh, right foot to protect the knee joint, so keeping those joints in line. Again, you can either allow that top shin to rest beneath the bottom, left ankle below, right ankle below the left knee, or you can put a prop cushion here, something to elevate the bottom leg to the top to decrease that space if it is bothering you. Otherwise, let's clear out the muscles, the tissues, you know the drill, kind of grounding and anchoring down even more. Inhale, sweeping the arms forward and up. Inhaling and exhale, glide the shoulders down the back. We'll sit up taller, reaching long through the crown of the head, upward to the ceiling. Starting to hinge forward on the diagonal, finding that hover, engaging your core here, keeping those front ribs knit, energizing the fingertips and melting shoulders away from ears. Breathing in. And out. Continue as you inhale to hinge forward until finally your hands surrender down. Maybe finding your rib cage up and over that top right shin. Maybe walking those hands out further. Option to bring blocks to you, props to you, or surrender your forearms and forehead down. Taking some long deep breaths here. Feeling the sensation as you breathe the long and deep into the lungs, fully and expansively. You can imagine that somebody's hands are on your thoracic spine, then your lumbar spine, your middle, lower back, even all the way up behind the neck and the skull coming up towards the cervical spine, allowing that head to be heavy, breathing into the space in the back of the right hip. Inhale, maybe taking this extra moment to elongate the spine and come to flat back, walk those hands out a little further. Finding a bit more reach and length, and then finding a surrender again. Maybe you stack those fists, seeing which options you took on the first side, and notice if they're appropriate for this side, or if you'd like a new alternative. Breathing long and deep. The breath is the secret sauce. Letting that heavy head go.
few more breaths. Really luxuriate in them and take your time. When you feel very satisfied, take your time getting there. You can elongate the spine, inhale, start to walk those hands to the upper left diagonal, opposite of that top right foot. Melting down your right hip, inhaling long on the front left diagonal, exhale, surrender down. So opposite that top foot. <sighs> Let out sounds when you need to, dissipating tension, moving through the vibrations. See if you can breathe in and out the nose here. Of course, if you need that occasional release out the mouth with an audible exhale, take it. <sighs> just as I said that I'd have to do it. It just feels so good. So give yourself permission to make sounds, to be however you need to be. Vibrate. Taking two more breaths here. Again, finding some elongation in case we settle into one place. And just notice, are my shoulders melting upward or do I have space on the outside of my neck? Are my shoulder blades still connected to my back? Down the back. Taking an inhale, walking those hands to the left side, maybe sliding them away as the right arm arcs up and overhead, gazing up to the ceiling. Either that left forearm's down or the hand, the palm presses evenly into the earth, heavying the right hips. Inhale, coming back upright, continue to circle towards the right side. So right hand down, left arm follows. Take it nice and slow, carving forward like you have a big beach ball in front of you. Left arm will be followed by the right arm. Left hand plants down, right arm reaches overhead again. Finding some fluidity here, continuing in this direction. One more cycle around. Take the time to look at the ceiling, look to the ground, look at all the new spaces and places you will go. Oh, the places you will go. Exhale back, flipping the right palm, inhale up and over. Going in the opposite direction now to the left, carving over and forward, right arm followed by left arm, taking two big circles, keeping the hips nice and heavy, paying attention. How does this side feel different than the other? And trying your best to keep it fluid, keep it nice and smooth, and then releasing, energizing the palms down, shoulders down the back, lots of space in the side body as we find more space between the pelvis and the rib cage. Inhale, grounding sits bones heavy, crown of the head reaches light and long upward. Inhale, exhale, release. Slipping that front leg that's on top forward, so my right, my left's behind me now. Hands can come behind you, and we're gonna, again, press our pelvis upward. So inhale to prepare, rolling those shoulders up, back, and down, wrists under shoulders. And then allow your pelvis to lengthen, opening up the front side body, expansive in the pelvis. You choose to release the head or not. Taking some breaths. Stretching in the front of the hip flexors. And on an exhale, lower down. Slowly coming back. Take up a moment to shake your legs out. Literally shake out the tissues. This is just an express class, so taking these opportunities, yeah, massage every single crevice, swipe off your skin, front body, back body, back of the neck, even your face, give yourself that moment under your arms, front, back of the neck, don't miss a single place around the hips, around the hip flexors, everywhere that we were just working with. And then actually let's bring our legs into a straddle, yeah, so you can, it doesn't matter how wide it goes, but just to give yourself that opportunity to stretch those inner thighs, flex the feet, flex the palms, point through the toes and ankles and the wrists. Give everything, oh, that's a nice pop. Okay, <laughs> give everything a nice circling. So circle externally with all those joints, the wrists and the ankles, and then reverse internally. Keep breathing, most importantly, keep breathing. And you wanna be in a comfortable straddle, so nothing that you're gonna be like, ah, I can't maintain this. If you want to open up a little more, be my guest. If you want to narrow it up, be my guest. Just finding a strong anchor, just like we did before. We felt our sits bones. We're going to do it again, making sure they're really into the ground. 
Sometimes we want to sit behind or in front of. Be gentle with yourself. No need to go, you know, pow. Just be here. Be here now. <sighs> here we are. We've arrived at this moment. So you can close your eyes. Allow your spine to lengthen. Releasing your head down and over three times to the right. So right ear hovers over right shoulder. Opening the front of the neck, the chest, um, in the opposite direction. Letting your jaw unhinge. Relaxing the feet, relaxing the arms, using your breath to massage out the inside crevices of your neck, your shoulders, your back. Allowing the weight of the skull to be the guide here. You're drawing a perfect circle like a bowling ball circulating around this top axis. The axis, the top vertebra sits on top of the atlas and then the skull rests on top, the cranium. When you come back to center this next time, gently reverse in the opposite direction. So towards the left, on an in-breath. Left ear over left shoulder. Opening up the throat. Pectoral muscles. Feeling the interconnectedness of your entire body just by circling the head. What kind of reverberations happen here? There can be a lot of action in this seemingly small gesture. Taking your final revolution when you're ready. Take all the time you need. It's okay if you need more time. Take it. It's your practice. And then when you're done with those three revolutions, you can allow your head to come back up on the spine. Take a long, deep breath in. Release it out long. Twice again, in the nose, out the mouth, breathing in. Conjuring up everything, any excess tension, anything you didn't get to release yet. Let it go out with your exhale. Like fire, like heat, allow it to burn and transform. One more time. Good. Just allow yourself to be. Thank you for joining me for this express stretch session. Hope you enjoyed it. Shake those lights out now. Be on your merry way. That was a nice little opener for the hips, shoulders. Hope you feel better. And there's definitely more where that came from. So join me again. My name is Nika and it's been a pleasure to share with you. Thank you.